When it comes to ARC, underwater rat holes are needed to hide. So we proudly present our solo, trio, and six-man rat holes with full base designs on ARC. Coming in at number 3, this is going to be the solo location. This can be found at 7.0 latitude and 61.3 longitude. Here it is on the map. This location is very well known for my last video, so if you guys went to go watch that, it was like top 10 rat holes on Ragnarok, which was actually a pretty big video for us as we have not really covered Ragnarok at all. So here's our, our little series of Ragnarok videos. If you guys enjoy this, make sure to go leave a like down below and let us know what you guys think about the Ragnarok videos. But anyways, this first rat hole, it's a pretty good size, it's not too big, but it's not too small, so you can e you can easily fit a lot of vacuum compartments here. It's going to be a little tight though, so we might have to use S plus vacuum compartments for that, as most people should anyways to begin with with ARC. But it's very narrow through here, but it's great for a solo as the entrance is extremely small, so getting in and out is going to be very hard. So let's get on to the design. So as you can see on the exterior side of this rat hole, we have decided to leave everything on the inside. If we put anything on the outside, it's going to show off the location of the rat hole, and we want to keep these as hidden as possible, as these bases are really meant for to hide away all of your really good loot so nobody comes in. So upon entering this, you're greeted with this nice little turret wall thingy on the side of the wall, and then come down here, some turrets on the ground, and then a nice little turret wall on the main base. Now, of course, you can add whatever other types of defenses that you guys want inside here. This is just a little... Thing on what to do our biggest part of this whole thing is the interior side of the main base so come inside you know you have a small little crafting station a vault a grinder an indie forge and then you come upstairs and this is basically where you're going to store all your loot so if you are a solo player looking to hide a ton of loot this is the design for you so make sure to come to this location and build it how i have built it and i guarantee you you will almost never be found or even raided in the first place if you do know how to build this right now coming in for our trio location, this can be found at 6.0 latitude and 59.6 longitude. And then here it is on the map, pretty close to the last one, actually very close to the last one, not that far off at all. You can find another version of the older rat hole, just a little bit with a bigger entrance and a lot bigger on the inside, we'll say that. Uh, this location is actually very big on the inside, but it's not as flat. But it's not as cramped, so building in here is going to be a little bit easier. There's a lot of little crevices and areas to hide stuff, so if you guys want to, you know, utilize those areas, feel free to. We are not going to be covering this entire inside, we are just going to be covering the base section of this, so the base on how to build it, and what to do for the base. Now for defense wise, we do work on it a little bit, but we are not going to be completely focusing on that, so please... Do not think that that is what this is and dislike the video. Now, however, if you want to dislike it, feel free to. That is really up to you. So anyways, here's the the area for this whole thing. It just keeps going back and there's just more cracks and no crevices. This is the nice little area. You can probably hide a tech jenny or something back here if you really wanted to. But there's not a ton of space to work with in here. It's still not too big. But it still works very well for what we're going to need it for, as we're going to be building a trio size base on the inside. So let's get right onto that. Now anyways, here is the full base design. So as you can see, upon entering this, you will actually start to begin getting shot by heavies if you are an enemy, which is going to be very nice for the defense. Now, we didn't completely focus on that, as this is a very awkward area to build in to try to build a turret wall to defend it as it's angled oddly but you come inside you're greeted with this nice little vacuum compartment base little area with the nice little death wall i would say it's not a big one for a trio tribe this is pretty easy to do for the most part now you come inside here and you're greeted with a very nice and big crafting station there's a lot of fabricators some good amount of chem benches some smithies two indie forges two vaults at the corner and a lot of fabricators. So over here you have a grinder, your cooker, your grill, and we have some stairs built up here, and we have a little hidden area down there where we're hiding our tech jenny from players on, that can see from the outside. A nice little vault wall, some crowd refrigerators, some regular refrigerators, another little vault wall area over here, and then we have three personal rooms for all of your players. 
Now, of course, you can see through the window, so if you need to see if you're being raided or whatever, you can go ahead and do that, but just please know people can still see through this. So if you do want to build around it so that people cannot see inside of your base, you can go ahead and build walls and doors and all that. It will actually let, let you do that, which is very nice with S plus vacuum compartments. We did not focus on the exterior side of the defense, so make sure to do that. And then finally, coming on to our six man location, which can be found at 10.9 latitude and 46.4 longitude. Here it is on the map. And this location is going to be a little tricky to find. So follow my exact coordinates and come all the way down until you see this great looking rock kind of thing right there. And just follow it. Now, of course, if there is a base already built in here, I highly recommend that if you do not see the rock, do not go over there. Because that means there is probably a pretty big death wall over there, so just a little heads up. But anyways, this location is actually very big, very flat, and it's not big enough to the point where it's going to be like overwhelmingly big to, to work with. But we are going to leave a good amount of space for dino storage and dino raising for like Tussos and Moses and all that kind of stuff, whatever you guys really want to raise. And... It's very good because it's super flat, but the only issue that I am seeing with this location is the angle like of the ceiling right there. That's going to get in the way a little bit, but it shouldn't get in the way too much as long as we build a little bit farther out to the right side of this. Now, we're probably going to do some kind of death wall layout for the front, but we're going to want to push it back a little bit to the point where, you know, where someone can't rocket swim it. <laughs> I guess that's what you would call it because on land it'd be rocket run. So anyways, let's see what we can do for a full base design. So anyways, here is the full base design. A nice good sized death wall with a little bit of a like double door layout thing on the front. That will stop a lot of tames from getting super close to the wall. So if somebody wants to see four rush on a tame, that stops that whole issue right there. Now coming over to the left, we have a nice little double door entrance that comes to the turret wall. And you are be greeted by the main base. Now outside, you can store a lot of tames right here. And then... You can actually raise them on kind of the inside if you want to plop them out. I, it's a little tricky to explain, but you guys get what I mean. Now, if you open up this dino door, you can actually open up the hatch like that. Then you can shut it again, and then you can close it. So it actually adds an extra layer of protection kind of in a way. But once you come inside, you're greeted with a very nice layout. You know, you have your vaults, your grinder, all your indie forges. And yes, there's a lot of indie forges. Some chem benches fabricators and a nice little new smithy layout that i'm going to try which is basically if you stand in the middle and you can access all the smithies so for example if you're slot capped you can easily craft stuff just like that now looking up you can see all the personal rooms so we're going to head upstairs don't mind the hatch frame right there now if you look through there we have our tech jenny hidden right there which you can open that porthole up hop inside refill it get back out then you have some vaults refrigerators cryo refrigerators really everything that you need including personal rooms but anyways we hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like if you're new, and hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to go comment OCYT for a heart.